Good afternoon. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm just going to do a quick comparison of SoArt and SoWhat Pro. Um, I had another video, excuse me. <laughs> I have another video and I'll link it in the description, but it's really long and it has so outs and lots of explanation, which is still a really great video, but this is just going to be a quick one. And I've already taken up too much time talking about it. All right. So first of all, we're going to go to SNS Computing. It's SANS. <laughs> it shouldn't be SANS, but that's what it spells. Just makes it easier for me to remember. So that's why I'm pointing it out. SANSComputing.com. Okay. And it's really nice. S and S obviously but once you get here go on over to shop and it's going to show you all the different things that sns offers okay i don't know anything about all of this stuff <clears throat> and you'll want to look at it try it out do the demos and all that stuff but what we're going to focus on today is so art and so what pro okay and i know that you can read this for yourself but i'm going to read it to you and then inject my knowledge. <laughs> All right, so SoWhat Pro is software for viewing, editing, and converting embroidery files for various different sewing manufacturers. It includes various integrated project management features. See the description of SoWhat Pro features below. A plugin is available from Maria Cross, see features list below, for converting cross-stitch files to embroidery. So that's really cool. That's very, very cool as well as SOAR Embroidery Digitizer. It's the SOAR is an embroidery digitizer for converting raster image files, JPG, PNG, etc., vector images, SVE, .emf, and clipart into embroidery file format. Image processing tools and a step-by-step -step wizard are provided to produ produce an image suitable for yielding a high quality embroidery stitch out. Use the download button. Okay. So the difference between Sew so It Pro is that you can take pre-made embroidery files, anything that you buy online or you receive for free. Um, there's so many different digitizers out there and a lot of them have um, different things that you can combine together. Or if you see something that you really love on one site and something that you really love on another site and they would look really good for a certain project, so what pro is what you want because you can combine them as well as um, thing I love most about so what pro is that you can take alphabets that your alphabets and fonts that you use or that you buy um, online and you can take them or you know I think that you can also get USBs as well as CDs full of stuff but um, you can take those and um, put all the letters together so that they sew out at once instead of trying to go through each and every single letter file like you would on your on your machine if you didn't have an embroidery editor okay so that to me that is just golden as well as being able to um, delete stitches being able to do outlines of things um, goodness it just goes on and on so what pro is really really awesome but it's for already prepared embroidery files okay so art on the other hand is the digitizer it's where you create your own embroidery files using images from online images that you've purchased images that you create yourself um, there's a lot of, of different ways to get images and there's a tons of free images online but you always want to check the, the commercial. If you want to be a digitizer and sell your images, you always want to check and make sure that it's okay to use that art. Okay. And, and it's also okay to pay for art. A lot of people want to just do it for free, but it's so cheap to just buy graphics on Etsy. And that way you have something that the creator has already said that you can use for whatever you need to use it for. And that to me is really cool too. Alrighty, so with just those two quick comparisons, I am going to open up SoArt and I'm going to show you just a quick, quick overview. Okay, SoArt is where you open up images. Okay, so let's click open. And I did a, a logo for a friend for his um, trailer. And so this is the Kawasaki symbol. Some of you might recognize it. So SoArt, it has 
kind of um, a boundary about how big of something you can open in it. So they've written in where it's, it will scale it down for you. So it's a 20, instead of saying you can't use this image, it brings it down for you. So it scales it down to 0.73, but it's still going to be huge, which is fine. You want it to be big to work on it, okay? So, and the reason why is because it's going to come in with a billion colors and you're just going to want to get it down to two. It does have a wizard and the wizard is really nice, but you really don't need it for something so simple, okay? So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and we're going to go up here first and check our colors. 64. We just want two. So we're going to bring it down gradually to 20. And then we're going to bring it down to... Oops, what happened there? And then we're going to bring it from 10 to 2. Okay. So it's all done. You have just brought in an image and and you can also what I meant to show you was this right here is an SVG and you can also bring in your SVG files so cut files that you really love and you'd like to turn it into embroidery to make things match so art will help you with that okay so in here is where you add your fills you go up here to the sewing machine icon it's the stitch image lit list. It says a stitch list for this image is already saved. Do you want to reload it? No. But if you want to, it will. So right here is where you find your fills, outlines, applique. It's got great applique. Right here for the fill, there's a bunch of different fills. So you can fill it with all kinds of different designs inside, like do cables inside of there. So because it's black, it's kind of hard to see, but if you can see that, that would look so pretty. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. But if you just want to do the outline, we'll clear stitches. Right here, if you do an outline, you only get five choices, but they're great choices. And my favorite is the bean. And I think a lot of people's is the bean. So I would actually choose a border so it can go around the sides of this. So that'll give me a cute bean stitch around it. But these settings right here won't work. That's a whole different video. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the different kind of things that you can do. And so you can click on this. Once it's stopped doing that, it, you can click on it and you can see where the bean stitch will be. And it's not a very good representation, but once you open it and sew it pro, it's awesome. So let's go ahead and clear those stitches. And let's go ahead and close so art, okay? Nope, we're not gonna change, save those, okay? And then we're gonna open up Sew It Pro and I'll show you what Sew It Pro does. Okay, so we have Sew It Pro open. And now you can go in here, if there's already something going on, if you're already playing in here, there's the new, you just open up that. But if there's, you know, just your brand new open screen, you wanna open this up and you wanna open up an embroidery file, okay? So I already did that um, logo before as an embroidery file. So I'm going to open that up. This is a .pes because I have a brother machine, but um, so it gives you a long list of stuff that you can save it. I think it's actually only eight or nine, but still there's a lot there to choose from. So it pro however gives you a really, really, really big space to choose from. All right. So I'm just going to open this up. Okay. So in my icons, it's going to bring up the last font that I use and hopefully it's a pretty one. <laughs> But if you don't have software, you have to add each word in individually or you have to use the lettering on your machine, which isn't so bad, but it's hard to place as perfectly as you can on this. So I'm just going to do Abe. All right. So how cute is that, right? So there's one, two, three, four files or four steps, right? But you don't want four steps. That's so much work. So we're going to go up here to edit and we're going to join threads, join adjacent threads of same color. Click OK. And so that turns this into one single stitch out. So let's close that and click on that. And let's put it into the hoop. There we go. So if Ethan has a kid named Abe, 
how cool is this going to be? You can make a little patch that says Abe on it. <laughs> but in any case, the difference between SoArt and SoArt Pro is SoArt is where you create the embroidery files and SoArt Pro is where you edit them, where you change them, you add things, you merge things, you delete things, um, you resize things, you make, um, oh, you can make, you can take your your embroidery applique files and turn them into SVG cut files so that you can cut your designs out onto, um, on your cutting machine. That's another really cool thing that you can do on here. You can center it, you can make the, you can change the density of everything um, and the pull compensation. There's just so much that you can do and it's a really fantastic program. They're really fantastic program when they work together as well. Alrighty, so I know I said that this was going to be quick, but <laughs> I hope that this has been helpful and I hope that if you have any questions, look in the description underneath the video and find us on one of our So What Pro or So Art related pages and we'll help you as best as we can. Alrighty, thanks so much. Bye-bye.